Hola, como estas? All right, so today I am talking about PDA, public display of affection. And um, this is not just about like lesbians and gay people. It's just any type of PDA. I want to know your, I guess, your thoughts, your input. Um, what do you think about PDA, whether it's straight people, gay people, bisexual people, transgender, older people, um, different races, anything? I want to know. So, about below, let me know your input on PDA. But until then, I am going to tell you guys my input on the whole situation. This is how I feel about it. Um, basically, okay, when it comes to gay people, any kind of GLBT um, people, when someone is holding hands and people are over in the corner going, oh my god, look at, there's two girls holding hands or there's, those guys are um, hugging each other or that guy just kissed Oh my god, oh my god, they just kissed on the cheek. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, like, first of all, hang on, let me back up. So then there's straight people. Now, if some straight couple was walking down the street and they were holding hands or they're walking in the mall, whatever, and they're holding hands, nobody would look, nobody would think anything of it, and it would just go dismissed. Some people might even say, hey, that's cute. Now, if a straight couple was making out in the food court, would you be like, oh my god, get a room? Or would you be like, oh, that's cute, you know, they really love each other, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, now, when you see an older couple holding hands, it's very, very, very rare that you see an older couple, like, making out or kissing each other in public. So, I guess it doesn't really matter so much, but I guess it bothers me when I love to hold my wife's hand wherever we are. Whether we are in the mall, whether we are at the movies, whether we're walking in a park, um, anywhere. I don't care if it is in the smallest place, like the moon or, well, that wouldn't be small, that'd be huge. Um, you know, the zoo, and that's what brings me to the zoo. Now, when we hold hands, okay, like say me and my wife are walking in the mall and we're holding hands and um, people point at us and they're like, oh my God, those girls are holding hands. And then they're like, for instance, like, I don't know, a couple of months back, me and my wife were holding hands in the mall and this lady was walking and she says to her son, don't look at those bad people. <laughs> I immediately turned around and wanted to freak out on her. You know, Valerie on the other hand is like, don't start babe, don't start a fight, just let it go, blah, blah, blah. She on the other hand can hold hands and let people point at us and say stuff and just let it go. I on the other hand get angry and aggravated and frustrated and just immediately want to beat the crap out of them. Because I am not a person that likes to be, you know, gawked at. Okay, number one, I'm not a zoo animal. I'm not hidden behind glass, and you don't need to point at me, okay? So that bothers the shit out of me. Um, because it wouldn't even be a second thought if you saw a straight couple holding hands in the mall. You know, we're holding hands. We're not having sex in the mall. We're holding hands. Um, I believe that, you know, some PDA is fine and I would never do any type of PDA in front of my family. And I think because it's very awkward and, you know, with my mom, like, you know, like I came out of my mom's vagina and to me, it's just kind of strange to kiss my wife in front of my mom and even past relationships like even girls that I've dated or even 
that one guy that I dated, it was very awkward to kiss somebody in front of my family. It was just, it felt strange. Um, so, you know, even like when I got married, um, and you know, they said, oh, you know, you can now kiss each other, blah, blah, blah. I tried to just block out my entire family and, you know, Valerie's mom and stuff like that because it was our moment and I shouldn't let, I guess, that get in the way of our first kiss as a married couple. And I didn't. It was a little, I was a little shy about it because it, I just, I guess I'm shy and awkward kissing my significant other around people. But, you know, normally it doesn't bother me like if Valerie will sit on my lap or, um, uh, you know, we'll hug or we'll cuddle on the couch and my mom will see us, if, or rather or like rub my back. That doesn't bother me. I don't really care. You know, my mom doesn't care. My family doesn't care. Kissing on the other hand, I think it's just a little awkward. But it bothers me when um, we are out somewhere and people are like gawking at us and pointing like we're some like people from a different planet you know we're human too we're not having sex you know we're not even making out we're just holding hands walking shopping that's it um, so I guess like I just it bothers me because I'm not hidden behind glass and I'm not a zoo animal and I don't like to be gawked at and just stared down. Anytime someone says something to me, I immediately like want to freak out on them. And um, you know, Valerie has to like say, babe, you know, calm down, don't worry about it, let it go. Um, it's hard for me because It's hard because I just don't think it's fair. You know, we are human beings as well. So, like when I see two gay guys holding hands, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Or even if I see a gay guy kiss a gay guy, another guy on the cheek, you know, I, I immediately just think it's like adorable and cute. Now, if I see anybody really just kind of like having, basically almost groping and like feeling each other up and down somewhere, I think that, um, they should immediately just go get a room. Because I don't think that, I don't think it's very appropriate and it's kind of rude. And I would never do that with my wife in, in front of people. Not because I'm embarrassed, because I'm not embarrassed. I will display PDA anywhere in front of pretty much anyone besides my family or my mom. And that just, I mean, just kissing. Um, but, you know, really anybody, it doesn't bother me. Um, any kind of intim intimacy uh, in front of people really doesn't bother me, except when I'm doing it in front of my mom. Because like I said, I came out of her, you know, area, and it just kind of freaks me out knowing that I'm like making out with my wife or whatever. But other than that, I don't care. Um, it's kind of like, you know, how people have, like, so they're, like, discriminated, like, discrimination against, like, blacks and whites and stuff. It's like, well, you see, like, a white man with a white girl, with, like, a black girl, and people immediately gawk and stare. Like, it's something so un, like, unordinary. Like, you've never seen it. And... It bothers me because people are going to do it and it's life. And like I said, I don't agree with like making out and groping your significant other, um, you know, in public. But no matter what you are, no matter what sex, no matter what you date, no matter who you date, I just think it's kind of should be left like, I guess, in the bedroom or in your own home. Um, I don't know, PDA, you know, it's just physical, 
intimacy, intimacy, and I like to get other people's views on it because um, some things are acceptable in people's views, and some other other things aren't acceptable in some people's views or um, cultures or religions. You know, just like the whole gay thing, people see gay people as a sin, and we're gonna go to hell. Well, go ahead and read the Bible, and it also says that beating women is okay. Now, I disagree with that, but no one sees anything wrong with that. Um, like, well, if you're in a nightclub, in a bar, or a strip club, and, you know, you see people doing, like, different forms of intimacy, sometimes it seems more acceptable. Like, in the past, when I went to a gay club, and, you know, I would be kissing my girlfriend and kind of like dancing and grinding on each other. It was okay. It was more okay. Like, say, it would be more okay if we were like in New York City or San Francisco where it's more like a gay population and, you know, you're surrounded by your own people. It sounds weird saying it, but it, it's just like, you know, races, black, white, Asian, you know, Japanese. People see it all as like, you know, I don't know, you just should be proud of who you are and be proud of who you're with. Um, I don't know, like other places, just people don't like French kissing and stuff like that in, like I said, in grinding, like at the mall or going to see a movie it's in, and stuff like that. It's not okay for people, which I don't agree with it either. I don't really think it's okay no matter what sexual orientation you are. Um, I just think if the partners enjoy being affectionate towards each other in public, it, it, I think it just may be considered a, a mild form of, like, exhibitation, you know, like, um, I'm trying to think of, like, a, a an example. <laughs> My cat is being really, really bad right now, guys. You're not supposed to be up there. Hope. Why are you up on mommy's desk or dresser? Get down. Hope. She's being bad. Very, very bad. She's about to drop my brush or something. Bad. Hope. You're being bad. Get down. She like me. Me? Not me, mommy. I'm so good. Eee! Get down. <laughs> Look at this. Um, actually, so, anyway, really quick. In South Africa, did you actually know that it is against the law for anyone under the age of 16 to take part in any types of public disaffection, um, of any types of PDA? I didn't know that. I actually le just learned that, um, today. I was reading some stuff on PDA and yeah, people, it's actually against the law in South Africa. And also in India, um, PDA is a criminal offense under section 294. Yeah. Weird, right? It's crazy. I don't know. So let me know your thoughts on PDA, no matter what sexual orientation you are. So leave it below. Or you can make a video for your response and make me super happy. Alright, I gotta go. I gotta go see my wife now. Okay, peace, love, out. Woo!